There is a place, Arthur, where courage isn't measured by how tall you are, but by the size of your heart. Really? Really? Oh, I could tell you stories all night long. Honey, tell me. Your grandfather found this world right here in our own backyard. It's home to a tiny people called the Invisibles. And to a treasure of untold riches. Within the next 48 hours, I will evict you from this property and bulldoze your land, whether your laundry is dry or not. When Arthur's world was threatened... As long as I live and breathe, they're not gonna get this house. There was only one thing to do. I'm gonna find the treasure! Follow me. Welcome to the land of the Invisibles. That's incredible. It's really special. There are quite fun little things that happen. The task of protecting our people falls to me. It was unique and different and funny. My little girl. Father. <clears throat> Sorry. They can just expect excitement and fun. Yay! I like this kid. It's like next level animation. It's like a video game to me. From the creative mind of acclaimed director Luke Besson comes a larger-than-life family adventure, Arthur and the Invisibles. Wow, that's cool. Join us as we travel on location and go behind the scenes with the filmmakers that brought this magical world to life. It's showtime. The story is really like this uh, fable that I was uh, in love with when I was very young, you know, like the Sleeping Beauty and the Cinderella and, and Snow White. I was so in love with this type of story that I want to, as we say in French, to give an homage to Mr. Walt Disney. What a gift he is! So the story starts with uh, this little boy called Arthur and he's 10 years old. He's just a, a nice, normal kid. He's pretty brave. He's in the office of the grandfather and try to see all the notes that the grandfather left. And he find this riddle and he follow the riddle and then he understand that the grandfather disappeared but in the garden to meet the Minimoys. And the Minimoys are two millimeters high. They're almost invisible. Lots of kids have a sort of vision or a dream, you know, that there are these little tiny creatures living in the same world as you. What was that? Humans. So he decides to follow the riddles. And he finds how to go and travel into the world of the Minimoys. And he transforms into a Minimoy himself. I have an Upperlander with me and he's just been Minimoys. Who is this Uplander? His name is Arthur. In two days, some men are gonna come and destroy my house, my garden, and your world. The only way to stop these men is to pay them off with the treasure. Mamma mia. The princess is a little tough princess and he's a little more romantic and uh, maybe a little lost because he's not from this world of the Minimoys. Father, now that the sword has been freed from the stone, we must act fast. I would like your permission to continue my mission. Unfortunately, I have to agree with you, my child, but I must insist on one condition. What condition is that? Arthur is brave and his heart is pure. He will go with you. Oh, that is what you wish, Father. Well done, Arthur. Arthur and Selenia and Betamish, they go off on an adventure to try and find the grandfather and the evil M, as he's called, on the other side. He has this treasure and he uses it as his throne and he sits on it all day. Nothing can stop us now. The kingdom's mine. I mean, of course, ours. Action! While compiling the cast for his film, director Luc Besson knew he needed to find the perfect child actor for the role of Arthur. I heard from some of my friends, they say, oh, Freddie Highmore is amazing. He's so focused and so intelligent and so well-educated. Mama pasted it back together after I ruined it. And then I saw the play. I just started writing and I haven't been able to stop. She would be very pleased to know that. He's 
very, very talented. He knows how to use his voice. The tree, the elf, the moon, it's all there. It's like almost unreal. He's really a, a little genius. It just seems just a fantastic thing to do, the chance to work with Luke, and yeah, he's a really nice guy. Arthur, you are fantastic. Oh, three against one, huh? Check out this phone. Oh, how sweet. You shouldn't have. Oh, really? I wish I hadn't. Jimmy Fallon, I, I met him a, a couple of years ago. Dude, the one and This guy never stopped cracking jokes all day long. He's really a talented guy. I've heard that speech. Huh? Enough! Stop bickering, the two of you. <laughs> Madonna is a queen, so she can play a princess. <laughs> She survived in this world of music for so long and she's so talented that when you know her a little more, she's really a sweetheart. Who might you be? Selenia, daughter of Emperor Sifrat of Matradoi, the 15th of that name, governor of the First Kingdom. Wow. Delighted to meet you, Peggy. The character that we design of Max make me think about Snoop already at the beginning. As long as you're here with me, there's really nothing to fear. I'm the boss here. My name is Max. And He's like the guy who basically runs this little underground club and trying to be slick and sly. Sort of kind of like me. <laughs> Long live the Seven Kingdoms. Long, Long live, live the, the Seven, seven Kingdoms. Kingdom. When the people say, you know, Robert De Niro has agreed to play one of the characters, it was like a dream. How brave he is, how heroic. It's amazing how much he's just like me. He'd make a good partner Father, for you. Father, I'm old enough to look after myself Forget now. it, forget it. Then you have to think about the job because some of these guys have so much talent and experience that you have to you have to be at the level. My child, I must do something. Cover me! Thank you. For Maltazar, it was my dream. You know, I say if David Bowie could play that, it will be amazing. I'm delighted to see you, Princess. What I like about David as, as a human being is very serious. He read the book and he said the values in the film are great, so I'm in. Very soon I became Malthazar the Evil M. Hmm? Whoa. Come on, come on. What I love about it is when you're 10 years old, you always say, oh, you're too small and you're too young. And the funny thing is Arthur is able to do thousands of things in the other world. When he's with the Minimos, he's able to fly a mosquito. And believe me, a mosquito is much more difficult to drive than, than a car. <laughs>